Thank you for joining us tonight. DeForest School District officials are asking voters to approve a $125 million referendum. They say it's necessary to keep up with the area's growth. Keely Arthur spoke with them today. Charlotte, the district is expected to have over 5,000 students by 2030. That's a growth of about 100 to 150 students a year. So officials say they've crafted two referendums that will positively impact everyone from 4K through high school. We have over a thousand students here at the high school, two lunch periods. Superintendent Eric Runa says it's tough fitting all those students in here during lunch. We do have students who end up kind of finding a little spot along the hallway floor. And nearly impossible once DeForest Area High School reaches its projected growth of 1,500 students. It's a pretty tight space. So the school board administrators and a panel of 50 community members met over the course of a year looking for solutions. They decided that their recommendation to the school board was the board needed to consider pursuing a capital referendum to um, add and remodel and renovate existing spaces so that we can meet capacity needs. To accomplish that, the school district is asking voters to approve two referendums. One would increase revenue limits by $2.5 million a year to expand operating costs. The other would approve $125 million, $60 million of which would go to upgrades at the high school, including more classroom space and a new pool that would be used by the community at large. It was built in 1969. Um, there's lots of components that are just starting to reach the end of its useful That's life. 57.4 million would go toward building a new intermediate school for fourth through sixth graders. The rest of the money to the district's two elementary schools and handicap accessibility. Some of the biggest issues around ADA compliance involve our locker rooms um, and our campus here at the high school, uh, where to go view certain um, athletic events. Um, somebody with a mobility issue would actually struggle to get through fields. If approved, a homeowner's property taxes would grow by $274 per every $100,000. But Bruna says it's the only way to keep up with the ever-expanding district and the needs of its students. Uh, to a degree, these are kind of growing pains. Now, of course, Election Day is tomorrow. This is the second most expensive school referendum in Dane County. Keely, Arthur reporting time. Keely, thank you. Other notable referendums tomorrow. In Sun Prairie, the district wants to borrow $164 million to build a second high school and exceed state revenue to help fund it. In Clinton, they want $42 million to build a new school for kindergarten through sixth graders and renovate the current high school. And in Milton, they are asking for nearly $60 million to replace a pool and add new classrooms to most of its schools to help lower class sizes. The 